Happy holidays, everyone! This is my first Christmas vlog, aka Vlogmas, unless you count the Children's Hospital delivery I did. But hopefully this one will be a lot more festive and exciting for you guys. I'm in my kitchen in St. Louis, Missouri. Um, my parents still live here, so I always like to come back for the holidays. My mom's actually a Christmas baby, so um, yeah, I just like to be around her for the holidays and obviously the rest of my family. Today on this vlog, I'm gonna be featuring a Christmas tradition that you could really do during any holiday or any time of the year, but we just happen to do it for Christmas every year since I was a little kid, and that is Christmas cookies. For this recipe, it's like a super simple sugar cookie, and then you top, we're gonna do some icing. I think we're gonna flavor the icing with lemon. I'm actually tripling this recipe, so it's gonna make 90 cookies. Usually it's for about 30, so I'm gonna triple it because we have a lot of people come over. It's almost like a cookie decorating party. Yeah, then they can take some cookies home with them too, and then we have enough for the whole weekend. And yeah, so I'm so excited. This is actually my first time trying this recipe. It actually calls for buttermilk, which I've never used in a sugar cookie, but it sounds really good, and apparently, you gotta be careful with sugar cookies because sometimes you'll make the cookie cutter and then you bake them and then they're like all just like a circle. So they have to have a lot of flour in them to kind of keep that cookie shape. So let's get started. So this recipe, because I tripled it, I actually have had to triple it and then halves it and then do it in two batches because um, my mixer of this bowl is not that big and I like the recipe calls when you triple it for like 13 cups of flour or something, which obviously won't fit in this bowl, so I'll have to do it in two stages, but that's fine. I'll walk you through the first one, and then so on and so forth. Also, if you hear little footsteps, it's my dogs walking around here, which I can show you a little bit later. But I wanted to get started. So first things first, I'm gonna cream together my butters and sugars. Room temperature butter, I didn't have it sitting out long enough, so I microwaved it for a little bit. So the reason you don't want it to be lick, like melted butter is because you want it to be pretty firm so that when you whip it and you it like it helps the cookie from spreading and it keeps the structure. Otherwise your dough would be really liquidy. Just pop this baby and let it do the work for me using this paddle attachment. I'm gonna cream this together for about three minutes until it's really light and fluffy. Hey buddy. I'm gonna actually add, I kinda just screw up because you are supposed to do the sugar and butter first, but I added the eggs already. So I'm gonna add the sugar now. <laughs> Don't follow me. That was a totally screw up on my part. Okay, let's see if this works. So I just got all of the butter, sugars, and eggs creamed together. And now I'm gonna do baking powder. Keeps the cookies nice and light. And salt. Balance out all that sugar. Fourth a teaspoon of salt. Just really little. Okay, now mix that together. Okay, so now I'm gonna add half of the buttermilk, and then I'm gonna add the, some flour, and then I'll add the other half. Give it a mix. I'm gonna also add some vanilla extract, which is really good flavoring. that mix together. Okay, now I'm gonna add the flour, half the flour. I'm gonna add the remaining buttermilk. And the remaining flour. Ooh. 
flower may go everywhere. If you have a nice outfit on, I highly suggest wearing an apron. Thing is with flour, you gotta keep the machine super low before it gets mixed and then you can, oh my god. Let's just make a mess, right? My mom's gonna kill me. <laughs> All good in the hood. Okay. I'm gonna do this slowly. Thank God. Now, if the dough is super sticky, you can add in more flour, which I have here. So I'll do a little bit more flour because you don't want it to be sticky because you do need to roll it out. And then while that's finishing mixing, I'm gonna start prepping the ingredients for the second batch. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I got a bowl just to put the dough in. This is always a really messy, messy day in the Windsor household. Probably should taste it, make sure it's okay, right? It's really good. It's like really good. So, so, so thick. Now I'm going to just put this in the fridge while I do the other batch. Okie dokie, so I got the dough that was chilling, which I find helps with the stickiness when like rolling it out. So I swapped the dough that I just made and I put that dough in the fridge. Then I've got my chilled dough here. Um, I have some powdered sugar here in case I find like things are getting sticky. And then I've got a rolling pin and then I've cut some pieces of parchment paper to roll it out in between the parchment paper. And that's how it's doing. So you just get a piece, and then you take some dough, glob it on there. Mom, you want to help? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well I might need some help because this paper gets a little squirrely. Like you gotta hold it down on my body. And then you just flatten it to where it's like, a quarter inch thick, or a half inch, third of an inch thick? What do you think? Quarter. Quarter inch thick? That was a fairly small one, so I'm gonna do a little bit more. And then after I roll all of these out, I'm gonna put them in the freezer and let them harden for a couple hours because that makes cutting the cookies out really easy. And also it keeps the cookies from spreading so you get those like perfectly sharp edges. Put your back into it. One down, a lot more to go. Okay, so we rolled out all the dough. We're gonna pop these in the freezer for a couple hours, let the dough harden, and then we're gonna cut some cookies. I just ate lunch, and now I am ready to cook. This has been in the freezer for like maybe an hour or so. And here's my cookie cutters of choice this season. So I'm doing Christmas trees, snowmen, snowflakes, a reindeer and a uh, stocking. Okay, I'm gonna try. First batch in the oven. So, this is what we've got going so far. Yummy, yummy, yummy. 
looking pretty good. What's your guys' favorite shape? So we just about finished baking all the cookies. The only thing that we really have left is the extra dough that we have from cutting the cookies out and then having to re-roll it and refreeze it. And um, just a tip and trick that my mom and I discovered, um, it's a lot better when you freeze a dough for a couple hours because it's easier to cookie cut them out. Like they're, they're sturdier and they come off of the parchment easier. And also, the second they come out of the freezer, since the dough is sticking to the parchment as well, which is weird, but we unpeeled both sides of the dough from the parchment paper and while the dough is still stiff, and then you flip the parchment over to a clean side and then lay the dough back down. That way when you dip the cookie cutter in flour and then dip it on the dough, it comes off like super smooth and it doesn't stick to anything. And um, then you just pop them in the oven for like 10 minutes and they bake good, they don't spread too much. They kept the shape really nice. Like look at how perfect the little ring and deer came out. It's so cute. I can't wait to decorate those guys. And um, except for a couple that turned out a little crispy on the edges. Maybe that was my baking sheet or maybe that was just my oven. I don't know, maybe it cooked unevenly. But yeah, overall they came out really good. I've already had a couple um, and they taste great. The recipe with buttermilk was a good one. So I will link that below for you guys. Um, I'll also link the royal icing that we're gonna be using tomorrow to decorate the cookies. Uh, we're gonna have everyone uh, everyone come over and decorate them because there's a lot of cookies. So you want to do it till the stiff peaks form, which yeah, that looks pretty good. Yum. So here's the situation. We're really trying to make a brown, but it turns out brown's really hard to make with food coloring. So, do you guys have any tips for brown with these four colors? Make sure that would be really helpful. Look at my situation with the green. It's working quite nice. I'm liking this funnel. All right, let the festivities begin. Okay. Almost finished. Oh, are you talking about these? It's a process, oh. but it's looking pretty good. We basically finished. I just have to draw little eyebrows and stuff on my reindeer, but we're basically done. What happened? <gasps> I'm gonna eat this. What happened to that reindeer? The other one. <laughs> this one. This one. Try it. Try it. Is it good? Oh my God. Well guys, that was fun. that's it for the cookie decorating. I'm gonna draw faces on this reindeer. And yeah, happy Vlogmas.